Hello. Um, I'm gonna try to compile a bunch of things today and put it into a vlog because I have a few random clips that I would like to piece together. Um, and then I also just want to talk about things that are going on in the world. Um, but I'm gonna like sit down and, and, and talk in a second so I'll set my camera up and actually sit for a second. Um, but before I do that, actually I feel like, I don't know. I don't know, I have so many thoughts and don't know what to say. Okay, let me, let me sit down. It doesn't feel right to do anything else until, ooh, hello, until I address this. I'm wearing like a really baggy t-shirt dress that Kyle calls my pillowcase, which fair enough, it's like super baggy. So, um, I'm sure as everyone is aware, there's been a lot that has happened in the world and I, have not posted at all um, on YouTube. I did one post on Instagram um, and I've just been really quiet and please, 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 please hear me when I say um, that my silence is not complacency. Um, I have spent so, so much time listening to people and having conversations. Do you wanna come sit? and having conversations with people and just trying to learn and educate myself. And I haven't really spoken. Okay, hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. I have, okay, this is not gonna work. I haven't really spoken about it because I just, I sometimes, oh, okay, Chef, this is not, okay, come here. Sit over here. Um, I just, I, I, I struggle to find words um, because it, like I, the world is just so incredibly broken and hurting and I want to be able to say things that are going to make it better and somehow fix it and yet I also know that there's nothing I can say in a couple words or in an Instagram post that's going to make the world a better place like that you know like I just I want there to be that easy solution and there isn't and so I've found it difficult to be able to say anything because I just I I just I just want to be able to say something that's gonna fix it and I know that's not the case now that being said I also haven't really spoken much because I I think there's just so many better people that can say things and yeah, I, I could add to it, but I feel like it was just adding to noise and I wanted the people that had experienced racism or have been fighting for injustice, not for injustice, against injustice um, their entire life to be the voices that were being listened to and not myself because what do I know? I haven't experienced this. I haven't spent my life um, having to navigate this. And so, uh, like it just didn't, for me it just didn't make sense for my voice to be the one that people would listen to. And I still don't think that my voice should be the voice that people listen to. There's so many other people that are like way better to educate you on the issues of racism. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I've been. Um, it has been a few weeks now, a couple weeks of just me being silent and me listening and me learning and hearing people's stories and grieving the fact that there is so much injustice and so much brokenness in the world and also saying like, okay, we need to, to do better. So trying to learn more about it so that I can help make a better future um and also just taking the time to like honestly like look and reflect at in my own life and say okay is there places in my life is there bias in my life that maybe i wasn't even aware of or is there a prejudice in my life that i thought wasn't there but maybe i'm contributing to the problem and just taking time to reflect and try and better myself and have conversations with the people that i'm interacting with daily i've had so many conversations like i cannot even begin to say the amount of conversations i've had like personal conversations which i just think is going to make so much more of an impact than me just 
making another social post. Now, that's not saying that other people shouldn't be making social posts because I have learned so much from people that have been posting on social media. Um, but yeah, like I just felt like it was more impactful for me to have meaningful conversations one-on-one -on -one or in like a, a group chat conversation. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, but I also don't want to just continue into my content without saying anything about the issue and like I don't want it just to be a one-time thing I like oh I said it and I've like done my part but like I I want to like continue to to okay like how can I raise awareness and make my space of the internet <laughs> um, more inclusive and a, a safe place for everyone um, so yeah, I don't, don't want to just brush past it. So I, I wanted to address it. I want to say like, it has broken my heart to see, um, the injustice that's happened in the world. And also like, it's, it's not just this one event. It's not just George Floyd. It's not, um, just 2020. <laughs> like it has been happening for years and years and years and years and years and it's gone unnoticed or pushed to the side and so I just feel like there's just like this rising up um, where the world has been able to be quiet because of, sorry there's a bug, because of um, everyone being quarantined um, and so I think that it was, like it's horrible that it's taken this long but yet I think this is the, and it's horrible, the, the circumstances that brought it here. Like, please hear me when I say, I really, really mean that. But I think like the world is in a place where we're listening and we're open. And I just really, really hope that 2020 is the year that we look back and say, that's the year that the like, change really happened. Um, from my own personal experience, I actually went to a protest in my own city um, last weekend and it was, probably one of the most beautiful experiences I had ever been to. I was really worried because I had seen so much on the news about riots and just, I don't know, I don't really know what it was that worried me so much, probably just like the news and, and seeing rioting and stuff and so I was really stressed about that um, and I know Kyle was very concerned about me going, like he's like, I don't know that you should go, I don't know that it's safe um, and so we went to a protest and it was a march and it was the most beautiful thing. We live in a city that has a very unique um, situation where we're on the border and so as Canadians um, we still experience racism but it is different than the states um, but I it was it was a really incredible and beautiful experience to um, come together we did a march through the city um, down to Niagara Falls like where the water is where you can see across to the American side where they also had done a march and they were standing on the other side and they had signs that said um, two countries one voice and there is just like this really beautiful thing of coming together and um, just yeah like the unity that was there and uh, like we took a knee for um, eight minutes for George Floyd and so it was just it was really really beautiful the two countries coming together um, in unity and solidarity so it was really really an amazing experience so I don't know anyways I'm rambling I know I'm rambling sometimes it just feels like there's no words um, and so that's kind of where I'm at, where I want to say something, but I don't know what I have to contribute, but I feel like I need to say something. So my hope is going forward that I have learned um, during this time that I need to, one, be able to reflect on myself and what I think and the actions that I, I make and how am I contributing to the problem. Um, and how can I do things to make it better? And then also just like continuing to learn and educate and listen to people um, so that I can, I can do better in the future, right? And so I've really expanded over the past two weeks, like I have completely expanded um, the people I have influencing myself. And so I followed some new people on Instagram that I just really enjoyed listening to their perspective. Um, and so, 
yeah, I, I'll take some people below in the um, in the description box that I have found really helpful and enjoyed listening to. Um, but off the top of my head, I follow a girl named Chelsea. I think her Instagram handle is Chelsea Olivia, um, and she is oh, her heart is just incredible and. I have just really enjoyed hearing from her and learning from her, so she's someone I've really enjoyed over the past two weeks. Um, she actually in introduced me like through her Instagram um, to a girl named Ruthie. I think it's Ruthie Ridley, I think it is. Um, I, like I said, I'll take them all below. I'll try and remember to put it on the screen here as well. Um, and Ruthie is fantastic. She's from California and she's married to a white police officer. And so her perspective has just been super interesting and I really enjoy listening to her thoughts um, and I found like her super helpful and educational for me. Um, and then um, a little bit more close to home for uh, some Canadian perspective, um, one of Kyle and I's friends, his name is Chris Chase. He's on Instagram, that Chris Chase. And he's actually the guy that married Kyle and I, like he was our wedding officiant and we met him when we were in college and he's, he's fantastic. He has offered so much wisdom to me. I've been able to have some conversations with him and he's been really helpful for me. Um, and then he actually is also part of a YouTube channel called the House of Common Show and I'll uh, link that down below for you. And it's a group of nine black guys that um, host a, a show and they all just talk about different issues and some of it's been fun stuff like who do you think is the best NBA player uh, like in the whole uh, NBA or like ever and some of them are a lot more serious like the topic of George Floyd and systemic racism and you know like they just dive into all these different conversations and there's nine of them and so being able to hear those different perspectives has been so amazing and I've really enjoyed it. So I'll link their YouTube channel down below because they have been like a really big influence on me these past two weeks. So those are some like key people that stand out. I mean, I've followed a whole bunch more and I've just like been trying to broaden like my influence and who I'm listening to and making sure that I'm not only listening to people that look like myself or think like myself or have the same life experience as me. And so I've been trying really hard hard to uh, broaden that. So yeah, that's kind of some thoughts that I have. Um, I know this is like just rambling and I don't know what to say or how to transition out of this, but I just wanted to say something. Um, I don't think that I have the answers in any way. In no way do I feel like I'm the best person to be educating others, but the people that I do have an influence on, I want to constantly be challenging to make like for all of us to be making the world a better place and so yeah if I could challenge you I guess in three things it would be to reflect on yourself to listen and to learn um, listen to people and their stories and then learn from them from people that are different from you um, so yeah that is my thoughts okay Whew. I'm gonna transition because I want to tie together a few um, pieces of clips that I have so I will you know we'll figure this out <laughs> sorry this is very disorganized it, I feel weird trying to come back to vlogging just like normal so thank you for bearing with me but let's try to get this into a, a video of some sort <laughs> Okay, so I was just going through the clips that I had that I thought were all like random and I don't really have random clips that I hadn't, like I don't have a plan for. Like I have ones like, oh I did a bunch of work in the kitchen so I have like a kitchen video that's going to be coming up. But I thought I just had like a couple random clips that I haven't used, but I don't. So <laughs> I'm just going to end this video here and let this just be... Um, my address of what's been going on in the world and let that be a video of its own. I feel like that deserves its own place. Also, I talked for so long that um, I didn't think I would talk that long. So there's that. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, thank you so much for being part of my community and for being part of my life. And it just means so much that I get to make these videos and 
that people actually watch it. Like sometimes I, it blows my mind. Like I literally, I make these one because like I needed a hobby. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I started this channel. Like Kyle was like, Al Allison, I cannot be the only thing that you like do in your free time. <laughs> like, like you need to have hobbies. And like Kyle was like, you need to have hobbies. And I didn't know what I enjoyed doing. And so I started making YouTube videos and that has been a hobby of mine. And that's why I started it. And I was like, well, this way my family can keep up with what's happening in my life. And that's why I do vlogs. And like, I just enjoy doing it and having the memories and I'll go back and rewatch my videos. But like the fact that anybody else takes time out of their day to watch them means so much. And I just, oh, guys, I love you guys and thank you so much for being a part of my life. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Guys, if you liked it, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, this isn't a video that I really feel like you need to do that on, but I'm here and I'm talking, so go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. I have lots of home stuff coming up. Um, we've been doing a lot of work. Some of it's a secret, like I haven't posted about it yet. Um, it's not really a secret, but like I'll, I'll tell you about it in that video because there's lots to say. So I have that coming up and then, um, yeah, like there's just a lot happening. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that stuff in the future. Give this video a thumbs up and I think that's everything. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.